Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I have something really different um, and it's a video that I've been wanting to make for so long because it's actually the type of video that I really enjoy watching and that is, um, it's my version of a shop my stash slash um, uh, project pan. So basically what I've decided to do, I've recently gone back to work and um, I do my makeup in the car. <laughs> it's just how it is because, uh, you know, like with my two kids and the drop-offs and stuff in the morning, it's a little hectic. So what I decided to do is I wanted to pull products. Okay, <laughs> so this is, I don't know if anybody else does this. So basically what I did was I separated my makeup into four different makeup bags. As you see, they're like bulging. I have these four makeup bags, toiletries bags, that I filled up with four different sets of makeup. So everything that I would possibly need, I did four sets of. So I pulled from um, like items that, um, like some are new items that I've like just been wanting to use and some are items that I kind of want to do like a project pan. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to start with this bag. This is actually some of the makeup that I use for today's look, even though it's like a very simple, almost no makeup kind of look. I didn't use all the products, obviously, but let's just see what's in here. Okay, so in this, so first thing that I'm pulling, and I'm just going to pull them up randomly, is this palette here from Ace Beauty. It's the Scarlet Dusk. I don't know if I've showed this on my channel before. I obviously don't have it on my lids today because I don't have any eyeshadow. But it basically looks like this if you haven't seen it already. It's a really beautiful palette. So I have that. And then I have, okay, I have two lip glosses, one of them which I'm wearing. Again, I don't know if you've seen this on my channel before. This is from The Balm. This is the Plump Your Pucker Lip Gloss in the color Magnify. Looks like this. I have it on my lips today. And I also do have a um, gloss from e.l.f. This is the Super Glossy Lip Shine, and I think this is just in sheer. So I picked two glosses to go in this makeup bag because I'm really into glosses right now. Then I have, um, for the setting spray, I have this Smashbox Air Primer Water. Um, then for my setting powder, oh god, and I got makeup all over it. I think I've used this in a video before. This is from Seattle London. This is their Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. This one's really good. This, I'm sure I've showed on my channel as well. This is the Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation in Noisette. Love this. I have it on today as well. I, just, I don't have the setting powder. I did use the um, setting spray. And this one's really good today I mean in this look oh goodness where do I keep all these things um okay I'm gonna try keeping it in my lap but I don't know if that's gonna work okay oh gosh this is probably oh my god I don't want anything to fall down and break okay oh then this I don't think I've ever talked to my on my channel this is kind of like I guess I put it in here for to use as a project pan it's so dirty sorry so this is kind of like a dupe of the Anastasia Beverly Hills single highlighters that I don't know if they still do but this is the um Riviera I'm gonna swatch it for you I do have it on today it's very dark so it's almost like a blush topper I guess than a highlight on my skin tone anyways I'm gonna swatch it for you oh my god and the thing just fell out Hopefully it didn't break and shatter all over my white floors. That would be terrible. Also, this setting powder, it's not closing properly. I don't know if anyone else has problems with this one. It's a good setting powder, but... Then another project pan. This is um, from Aco. This is their blush in the color pink. This is almost like a highlighter. It's so sheer. I'm going to swatch this out for you as well. This is how it looks on the finger. And then I'm going to swatch it here next to the highlighter I don't know if you see that but it's it's nice I have it on today as well um for my brow product this is from Annabelle I don't think I've shown this because I just recently got this this is the stay sharp self sharpening waterproof brow liner I got this in medium brown 
this is good. Um, you know what, I'm going to put some of the items here because they're going to fall all over my lap. Not this one. Uh -huh. And maybe this one. Okay. Then, oh, for the primer, I don't have it on today. I picked this Alginist, and you'll see a theme running with some of my other um, makeup pouches. This is the Reveal Concentrated Color Correcting Drops. This is in blue. So this is supposed to, I don't know if it says here, I threw out the box. They were in their boxes and then I was like, this is just taking up too much space. I forget what this is supposed to color correct. Blue is supposed to col color correct sallowness, I believe. So it's supposed to make your skin look, yes, less yellow. And I don't know, sometimes I feel like it does look like sallow, I guess. You know when it just doesn't have, it look, I don't know if this is correct, but when my light, when my skin looks like it doesn't have any like life in it, that's what I feel like it's good, good for color correcting. For my eyeshadow base, which I don't have on today because I don't have any eyeshadow on, I picked this one from Essence. This is the I Love Stage eyeshadow base. This one's amazing and it's so affordable and you get quite a lot in there. For my concealer, I picked the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. I have that on today and I really like it as well. I don't even have any setting powder and it doesn't seem to crease. And it gives you kind of like a natural coverage, which I like. And then for my, um, for my eyeliner, I have this Shiseido Kurumitsu Brown In Stroke Eyeliner with my, um, I need to apply it. I use the Stila, um, Stila eyeliner pen thing. It's really good. Um, then I just have a eyeliner from Annabelle, a mascara from Elizabeth Arden that I got with the gift with purchase, just a little one. And then in terms of like, if you're curious about the tools, I have this Dior um, blush brush. It came with one of my blushes and it's amazing. I love this one so much. Um, I have, a, this came with a set as well from Chermoy. I think I've shown this in a haul before. I love this highlighter brush. I remember in that video, it didn't work with that highlighter that it's supposed to come with, but with other highlighters, it works really great. And then that highlighter with other brushes works really great, which is really weird. And I have a couple little brushes I got from a travel set, a Sephora brush travel set. Threw that in there, and I have a blending brush from Sigma in here, the E25 in case you're curious. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So. That is what I have for the first set. I'm going to try to shove these back in here really quick. I might have to work on maybe getting bigger makeup bags because I really have a lot of products in here, which um, I wasn't really anticipating. Like I've used these little bags, but not for like full like makeup, like every single product, all the tools. It's just always been like things that maybe I just want to touch up on. So I'll have to go back to that and I have to check on that highlighter in a bit okay the next again look this is bursting this is just the Shiseido makeup bag that I got a little gift with purchase so again we'll just pull so again I have from the Anastasia dupe um this is the so Hollywood illuminator okay, I don't know if you want me to swatch that it's just a, I'm not going to swatch because I don't have any of these products on but this is that OG highlighter that kind of started it all way back in the day. Uh, some tools I have, I have Eco Tools, I have um, Real Techniques, um, different tools in here, yeah. Again, I have another gloss from the Balm from the same collection, but this is in the color Enhance. I have this lip balm. Um, it's like, I don't know if it's tinted or not, but I have that in there. I have a Marc Jacobs highliner full size of that. Um, I have a brow product for makeup forever. This one, really good. Then I have, oh, I just have a little mini palette from Clinique, which I think this was a gift of purchase. Just some basic shades with the blush. Then I have a Bare Bin, Minerals uh, Veil as my setting powder. I think this is in just translucent if I'm not mistaken. Not sure. Just this one. 
Um, for then for my um, yes, like my bronzer, I have this Body Shop. Um, it's supposed to be similar to like I think it's supposed to be a dupe of the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, but I just got it in a darker color and I use it like as a bron bronzer contour. I don't even know what the shade of this is to tell you. Natural caramel. So I actually love to use that as a bronzer contour. Then I have um, the Fire um, Primer Water from Smashbox as well. Um, for foundation. Oh, I have this one. Oh, I love this foundation. This is the Bobbi Brown foundation. I talked about that in a haul before. And what else do I have in here? Um, oh yeah, so this is the pink um, color corrector. This is supposed to be for, oh gosh, I can't remember. I can't remember what that one's for. Like Dell Skin maybe? I'm not sure. For the eye primer, I have a really good one. The um, Urban Decay, that one's really good. And then I think instead of a concealer, I decided to try something different. This is kind of like a project pan thing. I'm trying to pan this is from Annabelle. This is the BB Skin Retouch Crayon. So on one end is a brighten and on the other is a smooth. So I thought I would give that a shot. And I think that's it for that. Oh, do I have other lip products? Oh, I did. That, I talked about all that. Okay, so that's that little guy. But I think I may need to get a bigger one for this one as well. This one is just, it's bursting. It's bursting. I, can, I don't know how I even got this closed to begin with. I can barely do it now. Okay, moving on to this basic white one but it's quite big it's just i have so many products you know okay um to start with i think i've talked about this um I, this is still in the box maybe i'll take it out this is the quo precision brow pencil and it looks like this the picture uh and it's in the color chestnut i'm gonna just get that out and just looks like this it's supposed to be a dupe of something i'm gonna throw out the box um Okay. Oh, then we have another. I got a set from the bomb of these glosses, so I just thought I have um, I would make use of them, and I threw them in in, to, in this month's like shot my stash. So this is an elaborate. This is a really pretty color. It's like a cream gloss. Then I have um, this eyeliner that I've talked about in my video before. It's really good actually, and it's not blue. In case you were wondering if you saw that haul. Then I have another like gift with purchase mascara from Clinique. Um, then I got another one of these um, dupe highlighters. As you see, I'm trying to like do a project pan with them. This is in the Starlight. Then I got another project pan thing that I want to do. And this is another, um, I picked this up at the same time when I picked up that um, mineral powder from the Body Shop. This is their cream um, foundation. But again, because it's so dark, I like to use this as a contour, cream contour. This is in the matching shade Golden Caramel. I don't know if they came in a set or not. Um, this one I think I've talked about in a haul. This is the Becca Pink Haze Blurring Powder. Then I have um, this Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. I have a few brushes here. Then I'm going to be also doing a project pan with the Modern Renaissance um, palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have my concealer is going to be, I said that really weird, I don't know why, from Becca. This is actually, I've never used this before, I don't know if I've talked about it in a haul, but it's the Creamy Concealer in butterscotch and as you can see it's very similar to like the Tushy Clot from YSL and I haven't used it yet so let's see what that's going to be like. This I've used and I love. It's the Alginist um, Repairing Tint uh, Tinting Moisturizer. It's so good. I don't even know what. Oh this is the shade tan but it's actually not that dark. And then for my eyeshadow base I'm going to be using the Nude Linen Elf one. Really good. And then this is a must for me because I have redness. Um, this is the green color correcting drops. That's a really wonderful Ooh, Almost dropped all my things. And this time I have glass, so I have to be really careful. 
And then I have another one of these e.l.f. glosses. This one is in the shade Ballet Slipper. And then I have another one of these, I think, tinted lip balms. They came in a set as well. So that's what I have in this bag. Okay, moving on to the next one. I'm just going to shove these back in so I don't like mix them up. Again, how am I going to get this closed? Okay, and then last but not least is this, this big one. <laughs> So let's see what's in this one. Okay, so this is another project pan item. This is a really old palette from Cargo. I got this at uh, Marshalls not that long ago, but I feel like I haven't gotten to use it yet. It just has some four basic shades and a blush, as well as these fun pencils. So this is a silver, um, this is the Boogie Nights eye pencil, really fun. And then this is like really fun. This is a like liquid um, liner, but it's supposed to be like a face and body sparkle. That's fun. Okay, mm, then for brows, I've talked about this on my channel before. This is the Clara brows. I got this at Marshalls as well. And it's really good. It comes with powder and cream um, powder products. Brow products, sorry. Then we have, oh, for my um, contour palette, well, no. I don't really do contour, like I do contour sometimes, but not really, but I decided to pull this Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in light medium. This is such a oldie but goodie. I don't even know if they still sell it, but I decided to pull it as like a kind of, I guess project pan. So I'm going to be using these shades down here as kind of like a bronzer contour and then these ones kind of in my under eye to kind of maybe set my makeup and brighten up the under eyes. I haven't used it in ages, but I used to love it. Like and. I remember when I used to wear it, it would just give me the best look. So I'm so excited to give it a try again. Then this is new. I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel. I just got rid of the box, but it's so interesting. This is from Revolution. This is the um, Metallics Gold Fix Luminous Fixing um, um, Mist. And you shake it because it has these like gold flecks. So we'll see how that works. Um, then last, not last, but at least. Um, the fourth kind of, um, when I got these dupes from the Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is the last one. This is in Pe Peach Nectar. I wanted to add that. Um, and then I think I've talked about this on my channel. I'm not sure. This is from Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Pro um, foundation, like the powder foundation. Looks like this. Um, then as a, I'm going to be using as a cream contour, this is actually from Becca. This is at the, the same foundation that I used today, but in a much darker color. I got this in espresso, and I, use, I love to use this as a cream contour, especially um, when I'm going to be doing like a, a powder foundation on top. And then I have, oh, as my primer, this is an actual primer, not like a color correcting thing, although it is color correcting, but this is just radiant. This is also from Alginus. I decided to just pull out all my Alginus kind of like primers, color correctors, and use them in this month's, like, I guess I'm gonna be using them next month or so. And then for my concealer, I have the banana, banana cream to go with um, my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got this originally as a mini, deluxe in like a uh, gift with purchase from Sephora and I ended up picking up the full size because I love it so much and, and then the re are the rest tools no uh, oh yeah for my base I have this one from forever 21 just a eyeshadow base and then I have are the rest lip colors okay I have another mascara and some tools I'm not gonna go through the tools they're just basic tools um okay yeah, i'll talk about the lip products they're kind of fun and interesting oh for the eyeliner i decided to pick since the um eyeshadow is like very basic uh to do this cobalt blue one from stila okay and then for my lip products i've um decided to pull this one from tarte this lip paint is an obsessed love that color then i have a, like a lip duo maybe combo i guess you call it this is from mac this is the lip pencil in dervish 
And then this is the matching lip color in Aspiring Star that came in a set together along with the gloss, but I decided not. Um, I like the gloss, but separately, not like together as the lip combo. And that is everything I got. So guys, I know this is like a really strange video. So if you liked it, please comment down below and I'll continue to make them. Um, but yeah, please comment down below if you have any experience with any of these products, if you want to see um, fuller reviews of anything or um, yeah, if you have ideas for other um, videos you like to see. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.